You have a section in your book talking about the myths that women have bought into. I'd like to just mm -hmm. touch on them briefly, okay? Number one, how I dress is my business. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be a concern for God or guys. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a passage of scripture that says that sin is bound to come, but woe to those through whom it comes. It's better to have a millstone tied around your neck than to cause a brother to stumble and fall. And as women, we have to understand that because God made our brothers so visually stimulated, the way that we dress certainly causes them to stumble and fall if we're immodest. And I think that that millstone necktie sounds really uncomfortable compared to just modest clothes that will help our brothers guard their eyes and will help us guard our hearts. All flirting is okay is a myth. You know, flirting, another word for it, if you look it up in Webster's Dictionary, is teasing. And no one likes to be teased. It's kind of like teasing a lion with raw meat. Eventually, that lion is going to want to reach out and take that meat. And that's often what men do. And you know, women accuse them of having no self-control and being total pigs. But it's because women have flaunted themselves. And, and men say, well, I wouldn't treat women like that if, they, if they weren't teaching me that that's what they want. A lot of girls think having a boyfriend will solve all my problems. Mm, yeah, if, again, until you look to God to, to satisfy your emotional needs and solve your problems, there's nothing that any man on the planet can do to help Why you. Why is it that, that guys can't meet every need? He's a broken individual. He is a human being. And so you know, two broken individuals don't make one complete whole. That You have to look to God, your creator, for that wholeness. And it, you know, a perfect relationship is, is two people who are both looking to God and then look to each other as just kind of the icing on the cake. But God is the foundation of where they, they get their self-esteem from. How about the one where girls say, you know, I don't care the, how he is. The fact is my love will change him. Oh, one of the biggest mistakes <laughs> that women make is thinking that, oh, but a relationship with me will totally change him. Women think that men will change. Men assume that women will never change. And the opposite takes place. The men never change, and she becomes a nag, and it just creates this dynamic in marriage later on where she's just constantly pursuing and nagging him, and he is constantly running from her. I feel so sexually tempted. I must be guilty already. So why bother resisting? Right. It's false guilt. And that is Satan's favorite strategy. But we have to understand that even Jesus himself was tempted in every way but was without, without sin. And so that's tells us that we can be tempted, but temptation doesn't become sin without our full permission.